<laughs> uh, time for some stories to start your morning. It's What's true. her name? Giselle. Giselle. Yeah, but you call her G. G. G? Giselle, what up, G? Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> that's how I'll let a play that's if you us, see her in the street. That's how us models do it. Oh. Like, she's like, what up, G? I'm like, it's all good, G. Um, <laughs> here are your stories. Uh, last night, LeBron and the Cavs, CeCe's basically left the studio. <laughs> they swept Toronto, and in so doing, Canada remained the city called LeBronto. <laughs> the Cavs were in control all game and shot nearly 60% from the field. Nick, how important is this rest now for the Cleveland Cavaliers? Man, they had played every other day since game five of the first round. Like, LeBron's played in 93 of 93 games this year, led the NBA in minutes played in the regular season, led them in minutes played in the postseason. This is wildly important to get rest, recuperation, all of it. And the reason why it's important is because now they're playing well, that the rest, so they won't be sitting back with re memory, bad memories, regret. So now they have all these four games of great memories looking forward to playing in the finals. I think it's critical for them. I think it, it will help transfer. We will look at this in a two-week span, how this team transformed. And it removes the possibility of injury. We saw yesterday, oh my Shane goodness. Larkin for Boston. He goes down. Marcus Smart, he gets re-injured but plays through it. Like, the more games you play, the more chance someone gets hurt. All right, even though the Cavs were able to pull off the win, there was, not surprisingly, still some drama. Reportedly, Rodney Hood refused to enter the game in the fourth quarter after not playing all game, probably because of how much he'd already contributed. Said nobody. Nick, what do you make of this? All right, listen, man. When J.R. Smith, and my guy J.R. has got to be the veteran voice of reason, you have gone askew in your professional career. Rodney Hood has been awful this postseason. Looks like he cannot hold on to the basketball. I said a couple days ago, I would like to see Jetty Osman get his minutes. And Jetty Osman isn't ready, but he couldn't be worse. Jetty Osman got his minutes to turn down going into the game when everything's going well for your team and see it's a chance for you to get into a rhythm it's a chance for you to see some shots go down if you are needed in the next round this is a terrible move by rodney hood terrible yeah but he's human and with the slumping averaging four points with the big trade because last year when they traded gordon hayward they let gordon hayward leave as a free agent Rodney hood thought he was going to be the guy in utah you know what they did they drafted out of the mitchell so they ship him off to Cleveland since he's been there. He hadn't been the type of player. And also, if Rodney Hood had showed well, it would maybe bode well for LeBron coming back. But he's a young player. He's not as athletic. He's not a knockdown player. He's struggling. So yes, I don't I, I don't condone this behavior, but do I accept it and realize that yeah, this is a reality of being in pro sports? Yes. Wow. All right, on to the Sixers and Celtics. Philly was able to pick up their first win of the series. However, things got a little spicy between Terry Rozier and Joel Embiid. Now, where's that lady from? I don't know. <laughs> Not <laughs> this planet. In other words, 6-2 versus 7 feet. They got into a scuffle. CC, who are you taking in that one? Oh. Oh, it's not. No, man, listen, you can't you can't beat big. You can't beat Joel and B. I mean, he's too big. Now, Rogier, man, he has gained a bunch of respect, but Good. big seven foot, I'll, I'll take Joel and B. He can put his foot on him. If he lay his hands on him, he'll hurt that little kid. Yeah, listen, I here's the thing, though. I bet Rogier's been in a lot more fights than Embiid. A lot more. Rogier's from Youngstown. He's got the wings on his neck. Rogier's a tough guy. Like, I, I understand Embiid's got the reach and the size. I get all that. This is what I'm going to tell you. Terry Rozier is probably a champion in this weight class. <laughs> Phantom weight. Okay, but Joel Embiid, not as many fights, but all knockouts in his win. <laughs> all have you all. Terry Rozier can fight for like three hours and not get hurt. Don't you think that Joel Embiid would take one swing and throw his shoulder 